What's up, YouTube? Mike Duck is here bringing you a black and white Little Cup battle that I had against Bean1706. This was a ton of fun. Uh, this is actually the best Little Cup battle I had in a while with this team. Uh, usually just rolled other teams over, but this was close. This was a ton of fun. So let's get started. Start off with my Pharaoh C as he starts off with Sandile. Uh, at this point, I was expect he has a Magnemite on the team, so I was thinking he switched that in. So I go right out to my Hippopotas, which could easily threaten it and set up rocks on my own, but he ends up staying in and going for a Fire Fang. Uh, Hippopotas right now is the pretty much the most useless guy on my team because uh, he doesn't have a weather user and I can set up sand really when I and uh, I can't really switch anything in on this thing because I don't have a ground resist but I have things I can deal with this so I'm pretty much going to use him to set up rocks and then just die because I mean that's pretty much his purpose he really just needed to be set up rocks and I have a check this thing anyway so it's really not that big of a deal if I let Hippopotas die so I'm going to bring out my uh, Elevator music, which is my Toxic Croak, not Toxic Croak, Krogunk, and I'm going to go for the safe, um, I, I know he's a Ghastly, but I'm going to go for the safe uh, Vacuum Wave, because uh, safe play really is the best thing to do at the beginning. And here I had my hand, literally I had my hand hovered over Ice Punch, and I was like, if he doesn't use sub, I'm going to look like an idiot, but if he does use, use sub, I'm going to look like a pro. But I should do the smart thing and just use Sucker Punch. So I went for Sucker Punch, and he went for subs too, and I was like, damn. So I need to get out. So I switched into Winston, which is my Lickitung, which is my special wall, as he goes for the Shadow Ball, as I kind of predicted. And I'm expecting HP fighting, honestly, but he goes for a Sludge Bomb, which was really, really confusing to me. I was not expecting that. So I went for uh, Dragon Tail just to break the sub, and I was expecting a switch to uh, Pharaoh Seed because Pharaoh Seed would absolutely wall this thing. So I go out to Magnemite. And he stays in and uses Sludge Bomb. So now I'm thinking, okay, he has to use HP Fighting or maybe even HP Fire. So I have to switch out and go straight to Toxic Croak so I can threaten it. Because with Life Orb and Sand, I can force it to attack me so I can Sucker Punch. But he ends up not having either. His HP Icy tells me after the battle. So he's going to go for Shadow Ball, which completely rolls over Toxic uh, Krogonk. So that's really bad. That pretty much, uh, that really hurts me. So I'm going to bring in my Winston to Revenge Kill because honestly, this is the only special attacker he has, and, well, besides Magnemite, but Lickitung is not going to do anything to Magnemite with Dragon Tail. So I'm just going to really just send this thing to Revenge Kill and then let it hit him, Red Revenge Kill me, so I can bring in a better poke. So I'm just going to let, he's going to bring in his Ponyta, and I'm just going to let him finish me off because I really don't need Lickitung anymore and I want a free switch. He goes for Flare Blitz and that's absolutely, he got a crit, it was pointless, so it's absolutely going to take me out. So he gets sand, He gets the recoil from Life Orb, Flare Blitz, and Sand. So I know that, I know that Drill Burr can easily take it out from this point. Uh, I go for the safe EQ. Didn't want to set up in case he predicted a Swords Dance. So that's going to easily take out this thing, and he's going to go into his fer his own Pharaoh Seed. And I don't care if he predicts this switch, but I'm going straight into Magnemite because this thing is com this thing is the one thing that's stopping me from sweeping his team with uh, Drill Burr. So I have Magnemite. I'm going to set up a sub in case he wants to Leech Seed, but he ends up just going for Suicide Spikes, and I'm just going to go for HP Fire to take this thing out. Because... I am sorry, because I'm modest, and even if it does have EVO light, HP Fire from Modest is easily going to take this thing out, without a question. Um, so, at this point, he's going to bring in his Cranium, which is his, uh, what's this thing called, uh, Cranidos, and I guess he's just using it as fodder. I was thinking it was Scarfed, and I was thinking, what if I used uh, Magnet Rise just to lull, but... He ends up, I end up just going for T-Ball because, like I said, I really don't need Magnemite anymore because now, once Magnemite dies, I can bring this th in my, uh, what's it called? I can bring in my Drill Burn and just sweep the rest of his team. So he's going to bring in Magnemite. I'm just going to go for HP Fire just because I can. And he's going to end up winning the speed tie and go for his own HP Fire, which is going to take me out. But now I can bring in my Drill Burr, and it's going to completely roll over the rest of his guys because this thing can't survive an EQ. The Sandel can't survive an EQ from that health. So it's pretty much going to be the game. So very, very good game. Um, what is this guy's name? I can't remember. I just forgot. Bean something. Good game, good game Bean. 
and uh, check out his channel. He's a pretty good battler. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out TPX. It's a great chat to go to. We got some battles, and yeah, that's gonna be the battle. So peace out, guys. Mike Deck is out of here.